I wonder what that fella did to get the board so wild at him. I mean, it says it right there. I don't know what else to tell you. He's a conspiracy theorist. Oh shit, I didn't mean to take that. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Don't call it thawing. It sounds gross. I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. Mm-hmm. Sure. What you saw in Emerald Vale totally normal. All the shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. Oh! It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use. Oh, that's class. fun. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. Couldn't I just steal a uniform or something? <laughs> a change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy cereal? What inattentive and brainless god would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? It's worked before. A holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. Hmm. Why the hell does a hologram sweeten your breath? Science, that's how. <laughs> Science, bitch. Phineas improved science lab. We'll need more security. Never touch this. No. Rocks. Negotiate with Sprats for territory install. Prisfig? Pris Slurry cat catchment? I don't know what you were raised, but hard to guess that it might have been a barn because anyone with even a modicum of this rearing would know it's unforgivably rude to ignore the ardent, sincere message messages of one's friends. Jesus. Look, there's no call for shouting. My terminal was busted. I had a few too many and I might have knocked it off the desk. You know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta cut loose. I'm not telling you where well is this. So lay off. Buy me a drink at the last hope next time and and, and I might forgive you. <laughs> Jesus, Alex was kind of a dick. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. No. Oh. I picked you out of the hope for your talents after all. It's only natural that others would gravitate toward you. You mean as an elevator operator? Oh, it's called Bubbles! That's kind of gross. What happens if I do this? That is so disappointing. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. Yeah, shut up, Felix. Hello? Hey. No, no, put it back! Jesus. Alright, fuck off then. <laughs> I steal your shit. Contact Commandant Sanita if you have any information concerning Mac Red's whereabouts. Failure to report any attempt might result in imprisonment and a fine. What the fuck? Oh! Oh, you cheeky. For various crimes and violations of board policy, including any uh, or all of the following. Sedition, forgery, conspiracy, conspiracy to commit conspiracy, unlicensed medical practice, destruction of board property. I wonder what that fella did to get the board so wild at him. I mean, it says it right there. I don't know what else to tell you. He's a conspiracy theorist. Oh shit, I didn't mean to take that. Let's just let's Captain run around with it. Hawthorne, you said. Mm hmm let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Oh no, what do you do? According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. What? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on ground Rick. Wait, didn't he impound the ship twice the wrongly before? Like a oh shit. He knows that I'm not Alex though. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? N yes. I'm not going to do your job for you. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, hold on, it'll just take a minute. Oh, fuck off. Time I'm soon. not your you errand girl. Get off my Jesus, got it. What else I can help you with? You can fuck off. I'm looking for someone named Gladys. Okay, Defense. yeah, you can help me with that. Her Gladys? Can we rent an upstairs room? Everybody, this is not Vegas. Relax. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Oh, you make sugar cookies? Made without a single natural ingredient. Or an oven. <laughs> just like store-bought. So you just, just buy them. <laughs> oh! What? 
is he wearing? Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice. <laughs> it's Spacer's choice. You said it. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. Are you okay there, buddy? You sound a little tired. Uh, can you see in there? Where can I get a hat like yours? You would never ask if you knew what it's like in here. <laughs> I mean, why anyone can be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist. Just keep your nose clean and aim for the moon. How do you brush your teeth? Spacer's Choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time. But we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. <laughs> he means eating solid food. Don't miss out on these deals. He's no always answering like me to like sell me some shit. <laughs> Trouble sleeping? <laughs> Try our lunar eclipse mix. That's two handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig. Of Two hour energy room. What? Why would you do a that before going to sleep? The stratosphere and the crash will knock you out gold, guaranteed. <laughs> the fuck? I could just keep going. Add an additional 10% to your purchase today, and the proceeds will be donated to <laughs> Spacer Cares, our premier corporate welfare program. Do you need me to get help to get you out of there? Even if my contract didn't forbid it, I think. Uh, I think it's part of me now. Are you ready to make Spacer's Choice Lunar Green Moon Mouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar Green. The <laughs> future is spearmint. I, uh, you know, damn it. No slogan for that one. Uh, look, this hat, my job, it may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. What do you mean? If there are self-made purgatories, then we all have to live in them. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. Now, if we're done with the chit-chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the best moon person I can be. <laughs> Sorry if I push it too hard, Martin. It's fine. I should be stronger than this. Thanks for taking an interest. You're welcome, buddy. Speaking of interest, can I interest you in some quality budget goods at Spacer? No. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now or I'll detain you for trespassing. You must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Well, how do you know? <laughs> something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? He, pff, here's the thing. I may or may have not crushed him on accident. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? No idea what you're talking about. Is there anything else I might help you with? You can fuck off. Ooh. No running. Do not run. People will know that you are an imposter. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? No. Mm. Accidentally hit one of the damn pad buttons. Oh my god! And they just keep going at it. Wow. Good job, Peach. I thought I shot her, and then I just saw both of them just going at her. It's like, fuck you. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. So you stole it. I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer, he paid half up front to finance the operation. Oh, look at him, Let's cheeky little shit. Sideways. If you can square things for me, I would owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. 
Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Hey, I'm the one doing the shit. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. <laughs> collection now, agent. Is there anything else? Don't let Ada hear you calling her ship names. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. Hey, I like Ada. Shut up. I have a 